Hi, I'm Don Watson. I'm here to demonstrate a powerful new tool that helps elementary school children prepare for algebra. It's based on a paper published by the Ontario Association for Mathematics Education. There are two different ways of viewing many mathematical concepts, as active processes or as static and abstract. Anne Svard says in one of her papers that we first need to introduce concepts as active processes. Then students have a better chance of understanding them. Our present method, introducing algebraic concepts as static and abstract, she says is of little or no avail. I believe that we need to respond to what Svard has said and introduce algebraic concepts as active processes. If you could spare a few minutes, I'll demonstrate how. I'll need a new and simple notation called foundation. With an on-screen keyboard, I can do everything by pointing. Now this is foundation's variable. It reads in numbers. It can read in any number we like. That gives it generality. But, because it reads, it's active. Foundation is built from simple number machine. This is the addition number. We can find another way of getting numbers in. We can drag them. And then we can bring up the calculation icon and do the calculation. Now this number machine has taken in two numbers and produced an output number. But that's what functions do. So, this is a function. And all of these down here, these number machines, are all functions. Let's try a multiplication. Again, we input two numbers and got an output number. Students could develop some understanding of variables and functions as early as grade one. What about expression? Let's compare two foundation functions with their equivalent functions in algebra. These two add four, and these two multiply by five. But foundation can do things that algebra can't. Supposing we want to multiply for five by five, and then add four, we can drag down the add four function and we can read the five times function into its variable. So foundation variables not only input numbers, they can input functions. Let's input a number now to this new function. And we'll do the calculation, but this icon does it one step at a time. So you can see the multiplication was done first and then fed into the addition and then we've got the answer. Now, let's move to a higher grade and build a bigger expression. We'll find a hypotenuse formula using Pythagoras. We'll need an addition function, two squaring functions, and a square root function. Bring out the addition function and drag a squaring function to each of its variables. Notice how easy this manipulation is. I'll bring out the square root function and drag all of this expression to the square root function. Now notice how easy it is to manipulate all expressions in foundation. In algebra, this is hard for students to understand. Let's give the variables value. Now we'll get set the calculation up and we'll do one calculation at a time. Not now. Watch the way each function did its job and then fed its output as input to the next function. Here are three copies of the Pythagoras function. If we read in numbers, We have arithmetic. If 
we read in letters, we have algebra. The website at which you'll find information and foundation itself is www.foundationnotation.com. Foundation can test algebraic theorems in the same way that science labs test scientific theories. We just put numbers into the variables and calculate. Anything you can tell us through our blog, Facebook or Twitter will be greatly appreciated. Your feedback will be used to improve Foundation. It'll be upgraded transparently with new versions as we learn what's needed. Foundation is intended for elementary schools, but may also be useful in high schools. Although there will be a second package for high schools built on top of Foundation. Thank you for listening. We're sure that you'll enjoy Foundation as a useful teaching tool.